home by now. Remember the parable. The landowner sent servants multiple times as well as his son, giving the vine dressers plenty of opportunity to repent. When they do not heed his patient corruption, they are destroyed. The Lord patiently proclaims his word to you, to the church, to the world. Do not mistake his patience for toleration of evil or approval of sin. Judgment is coming, and the time for repentance is now. So we repent, and we rejoice in this. Repentance is available because the Son has come. He has lived to fulfill the law of God that we could not, and he has died in your place on the cross. He gave his law to you so that you can know of your sin and your need for forgiveness. He gave his gospel that you might be forgiven, and he gives us the privilege of proclaiming his law and gospel to all who will hear. The proclamation of law and gospel of sin and the Son centers on the cross. Because of the Son's death, you are in the vineyard. Because of his cross, you are forgiven for all of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Please stand. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus to life everlasting, amen. We join in singing the offertory. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits to me? I will offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call on the name of the Lord. I will take a cup of salvation and will call on the name to the Lord now in the presence of all his people in the courts of the Lord's house in the midst of you Jerusalem let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs Merciful Lord, you have planted us as your own vineyard that we might bear good fruit for your glory. Grant to us grace that we may be faithful and show forth in our lives the good works that glorify you and serve your purpose. Lord, in your mercy. Gracious Father, embolden us by your spirit that we may give witness to your mighty acts. Bless the missionaries who bring the gospel to people who have not heard and raise up faithful pastors who will nurture the congregations in their care with your word and sacraments. Give us ears willing to hear, minds willing to be instructed, and hearts willing to trust you in all things. Lord, in your mercy. Holy Lord, rescue us from all enemies of your church and bless us with church leaders whose voices will not waver in the face of threat. Inspire men and women to go into church work vocations and bless those preparing for church work. Lord, in your mercy. Mighty Lord, give to the nations both the desire for and the blessing of peace. Thwart the actions of terrorists and those who would oppress with the power of fear. Bless Donald, our president, 
Tony, our governor, and all who pass, enforce, and judge our laws, spare us from disease and fear, deliver the poor from want, and help us to provide jobs and worthy employment for all. Lord, in your mercy, God of love, deliver the sick from their illnesses, give relief to the suffering, help the troubled to know peace of mind, and be with the grieving and those in their final days. Guide all healthcare professionals to serve those in need and give patience to those who must bear with their infirmities and disabilities. Hear us especially for Gary Vowles, who's hospitalized with the COVID virus. We also pray for those who we have placed in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, prepare our hearts to receive the Lord's body and blood in his holy supper, that we may be strengthened in faith, renewed in love, and nurtured in faith by our communion. Give to us unity of faith and harmony in our life together. Bring us at last with the saints who have gone before, that we may attain everlasting life and dwell in your presence forever. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Holy God, give us a willing spirit that we may serve you with all that we have and all that we are. Help us to be faithful and fruitful in the godly use of your resources and gifts, that we may use them in accord with your will and for your glory. Lord, in your mercy. Hear us, O Lord, and give answer to the prayers of your people, prayed in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ, whom with the Father and the Spirit, you are one God and one Lord forevermore. Amen. We continue with the service of the Holy Communion. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. You lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is good and right, so to do. It is truly good, right, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who on this day overcame death and the grave and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. Therefore, with angels and dark angels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you in singing. Together we pray the prayer Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup. When he had supped and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, 
shed for the remission of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. body of Christ given for you. The 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 body of Christ for you. The body of Christ given 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 for you. I'll get it. body of Christ given for you. The 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 body of Christ body of Christ given for you. body of Christ given for you. The 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 body of Christ given for you. Christ given for you. Okay. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ.
Now may this true body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen and preserve you in the true faith. Depart in his peace. Amen. Please stand for the singing of the post-communion canticle. Let us pray. We give thanks to you, Almighty God, that you have refreshed us through this salutary gift. And we implore you that of your mercy you would strengthen us through the same in faith toward you and in fervent love toward one another through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Receive the benediction of our Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen.